Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you're tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just would like to extend a very warm welcome to you and just let you know, first and foremost, our purpose is to simply pray for you and to share God's truth with you right out of this living word of God. Then lastly, it's to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well today, friends. God is good. Do you believe that? Amen. Praise Jesus for that truth. Praise Jesus for that reminder that he's good and he alone is worthy. Amen. Amen today, friends. Today we're going to be talking about us making plans, but in reality, sometimes those plans might happen and sometimes they might not happen. I'm going to tell you the reason why. We're going to be in Proverbs 16, verse 9. If you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them. Please flip along to that passage of us or to our any Bibles and flip there as well. Let's pray as we jump into this topic. Oh, Father God, would you speak to us right now by this word? God, would you soften our hearts? Would you awaken our eyes and our hearts and our minds to hear from you? To hear truly and clearly from you. God, we love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. Proverbs 16, verse 9, friends, says this. It says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Amen. Friends, what does this mean? It's saying, in our hearts. It's talking about in our hearts. What we do in our hearts flows to the rest of the to the rest of our lives. So it's important that we have our hearts in the right place first. So in our hearts, what? Humans. That's talking about me and you. Me and you. In their hearts, what? Humans, what? Plan. How many of you have planned something? Maybe you planned an event, maybe you planned where you want to go to school. Plan what? Humans what? Plan their course. What does that mean? Plan what they want to do, what they want to accomplish. Plan the course. Maybe plan who you want to marry. Maybe plan what where you want to get married at. Maybe plan how many kids you want to have. Maybe plan what you want to study in school. Maybe plan if you want to get married. Maybe you don't want to get married. So here's the thing. In their hearts, humans plan the course for what? But the Lord establishes their steps. I'm going to jump to one other last conclusion. Maybe you plan to never surrender your life to God. And just keep living and just keep living in a disobedient life. A life not surrendered to God. Maybe you're like saying, well, I'm surrendered to God. But if you surrender to God, you're going to live for God. You're going to love for love like God loves. So in their hearts, humans plan the course, but the Lord establishes the steps. This means you can plan your stuff, but it's ultimately, you can plan what you want to do, but it's ultimately going to be the Lord that tells you if that happens. Because he's the author, he's the perfecter, he's in control. You might think you're in control, but he's in control. Amen? That's my hope for you today. Let's pray. I'm going to give you a chance to respond to this topic. As we always do as we, as in this video. So please bow your heads. Please close your eyes. Father God, I pray for these people watching this video, Lord. If someone has not given their life to you, Lord, would they respond right now? Would they say, Father God, I give my life to you, Lord. I believe you died on the cross, Lord. For my sin, for the sin of this world, Lord. I give my life to you, God. I've been not living in the way I should. So God, I surrender my life back into your hands, Lord. And I commit to following in your ways, in your footsteps, God. Oh, Jesus, would you help me love you more? Thank God for... For the rest of the, for those people who are once Christians but have walked away from you, God, would you draw them back to yourself so would they just realize where they are wrong, thinking that they can do life alone without you? And would you draw them back into your presence? And God, for those of us who already made this decision, God, would we have a hunger and a drive to go deeper into the single view and would we not grow weary in doing good? And would we keep on pushing forward until we hear, well done, good and faithful servant one day? God, we love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. If you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, or you, um, yeah, prayed one of these prayers today for the first time with us, would you please let us know which prayer you prayed so we can rejoice with you as heaven rejoices. Heaven truly does rejoice when one walks back into the family of God, or when one surrenders for the first time, or when one chooses to continue living for Jesus. Because friends, we live in a world that we need to live for Jesus more. That we need to be more on fire for Jesus than ever before. Amen. 
friends, if you, as always, if you guys have any prayer requests, or if we can serve you in any way that we can, would you please let us know how we can pray for you, how we can serve you. We are here for you. And until next time, have a very blessed day. And remember to keep Christ number one. You are loved. Have a great day.